do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VSC Power now hosted on the Money Face Game Channel. Today's video game tutorial. This is actually an advanced tutorial for Free McBoot version 1.93, and I'm gonna show you how you can load programs, your ELF files, your applications off a USB thumb drive. So you take a look at my PS2. I got the Free McBoot memory card, but I also has have a silver USB thumb drive on the right hand side there. So the beauty of this solution is you can store your apps on your thumb drive so you have more space on your memory card to you know save games and do other functions. So how do you do this? So for example, let's go into my Free McBoot configurator. And yes, you must upgrade your Free McBoot to the latest version. If you use an older version like um, 1.8C for example, you have issues when you try to load games, load your apps from your USB thumb drive and have it rebooting the FMCB program. So, what we're going to do is, for example, you go to configure OSD sys options and press circle. And here I'm going to create a new item here. And I'm going to create something called NES because I have an NES emulator that I have not mapped just yet. So NES, that's OK. Go down, press OK. Now, here we go. Path 1. So I'm going to press circle. And then I'm going to navigate down to my mass drive. And I'm going to navigate to where my folder is that has the program. So I made a folder called boot. So I'm going to go inside there. And here's my packed FCEU program or the NES emulator. So I press circle on that. So here we see the path is only to the USB thumb drive. So click on return. Go down here to return. And then I'm going to go ahead and save the conf file to MC0. And also might as well a backup copy to the mass drive as well. So I press exit. And since this is the 1.93 free McBoot version, it's going to take you to the main memory card screen. So just press circle and we'll be back at the main menu of free McBoot. So now we go down here. We'll see that I have my NES. So I press X on here and it's going to load my NES emulator from my USB thumb drive, which is awesome. It's not loading an NES emulator from my memory card. So now let's go ahead and show you proof that, yeah, this does work. Let's go ahead and navigate to my ROMs folder on my USB thumb drive, go to NES, and here I have a game, Super Mario Bros. 3, and let's see how well this works here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, awesome. Let's go ahead here. Screen's a little bit off, I'm sure I'm gonna have to, I have to readjust the screen settings, but I could do that at a later time, but you guys get the idea. It's fucking awesome. So I'm gonna pause it there, if you wanna reset it here, go to exit menu, and um, Oops. It's got different options here. I haven't really memorized everything here, but you guys get the idea. Uh, it might be easier for me to just reset the PS2 here. So that's how you do it. Now, another option that you could do, another quick shortcut you could do is if you don't want to make a home screen shortcut, what you could do is do the e-launch keys. So let's go back to Free Make Boot Configurator. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go down to... Um, E1 launch keys. So what this means is when you have this map, when you first start on your PS2 and you hold a particular button down, it's going to automatically load that program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remap the triangle key. So let's press circle there to clear it. And then let's press X to browse. I'm going to go to my mass drive here. And I'm going to select my Sega Genesis emulator. Okay. And then we click on return. And I'll just save it to the memory card. And I'll save it also to the mass drive as well. Not mandatory but doesn't hurt so when the free boot is restarting itself if I hold down the triangle key um, it will automatically load that emulator which is gonna be pretty awesome so let me show you how that works momentarily so I'm gonna press circle here to get out of the screen I'm gonna hold down triangle right now see that guys and it didn't work because I screwed up so what I want to do is let's go ahead restart the PS2 let's hold down triangle Triangle, triangle, triangle is down. Let's go back here. It's still down. And yeah. So I guess you got to do a hard reboot, not a soft reboot, which is fine. So now let's go to the ROM list here. I'll load my ROM from my USB stick here. I'm going to go to my ROMs folder. Go to Sega to show you proof that this does work, this emulator, because I had someone tell me earlier that their emulator for Sega was not working. Oh yeah, so this is Sonic 3. Just show you real proof, real quick here, that the Sonic the Hedgehog can indeed work on the PS2. 
Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Sorry about that. So yeah, this method is pretty awesome. It's just an easier way to create shortcuts through the E1 launch keys, or you can remap it on your free MacBoot main menu, and you can store your apps on your USB thumb drive or USB hard drive and save some space on your memory card. So that is today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.